I'm Sarah Gibbs, I'm a comedy writer and I am autistic. But before we get going, it's just really important to be aware that autism is a catch-all term that covers a huge range of things on the neurodivergent spectrum. Every autistic person is different. I'm speaking mainly from personal experience. I'm not an autism professional and I'm not a medical professional. If you're in a tough space and you're not sure if something in one of these videos might trigger you, come back and watch it at a later date. I'm excited because today I'm talking about stimming. Stimming is a series of self-soothing movements that a lot of autistic people do in order to cope with things like sensory overload or being emotionally overwhelmed. You can tell a lot about what an autistic person is feeling from their stims. It's actually a sort of a part of our language. Here are a few of my stims and I'm doing one right now. This is a, I'm a bit nervous. I'm about to talk about something difficult. So I'm playing with my hair and I'll tap my knee or my foot. Depending on the tempo or frequency, you can tell a lot about my mood. I could be anxious, could be excited. If I see something I'm excited by, I'll flap. If I'm distressed or trying to calm myself down, I might rock. If I'm really distressed, I might rub my hair. There are visual stims, for example. I'll watch this glitter fall for a really long time. I'll smell the crap out of that because it's so good. Feeling soft materials, lovely soft materials, that can be a stim. Stimming is what we do in order to cope with our environment and it's also a way that we express the emotions that we're feeling inside of us. We can feel emotions very, very deeply and the way that autistic people feel emotions can be really, really physical. Stimming also helps to prevent the onset of meltdowns, which I will get to in another video, but meltdowns are effectively an involuntary response to sensory overload or emotional distress. If you really get to know an autistic person well and they let down their guard in front of you and they stop masking in front of you, you will see a whole range of weird and wonderful and wacky and beautiful stims and you'll get to learn a lot more about how to tell how we're feeling and what you can interpret from those stims and whether they're a warning sign of anything. If I'm doing this one, I'm really desperate to get away from a conversation with you. So, so sorry if I've ever done that to you or do it to you in future. Shouldn't have told you that really. That's all for now and I'll see you next time.